Hi, my name is Dr. Tanya Aziz, and today I'm going to talk with you about what to expect for your first pap smear. So first, what is a pap smear? A pap smear is a screening for screening test for cervical cancer. A small brush is used to sample your cervical cells to detect any precancerous or abnormal cells. Sometimes a human papilloma virus test, also known as an HPV test, is performed at the same time as a pap smear. HPV is a sexually transmitted virus that can lead to genital warts or cervical cancer long term. So who needs a pap smear? Anyone with a cervix who is 21 years or older needs a pap smear. Pap smears are done about every three to five years if you have normal results and results take about one to two weeks to come back. Abnormal results range from low grade changes to high grade changes. And if you also have a positive HPV test, oftentimes further testing is needed to determine if you have any precancerous cells that need further treatment. Um, that additional testing is called a colposcopy. That's where um, your provider will look at your cervix under a magnifying lens um, and do some biopsies if needed. That said, your provider should call you after your pap smear results come back um, to discuss any abnormal results and to discuss what uh, next steps are needed. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through the exam. During the exam, you're gonna be seated on this exam table. You're gonna place your heels in these heel rests. You're gonna slide your bottom towards the edge of the exam table, and then you're gonna lay back. Um, your provider will begin the exam by looking at your external genitalia, also known as your vulva, for any abnormal skin findings. This metal device is called a speculum. Um, it is inserted into the vagina and then gently opened to visualize the cervix. At that point of the exam, you may feel some pressure, but you should not feel any pinching or pain. If you feel any of those, you should let your provider know. Afterwards, your cervix, um, these small brushes are used to um, sample the cervical cells. It should just feel like a gentle touch of your cervix. You, again, should not be feeling any pain at that point, but let your provider know. Um, the final part of the exam is the bimanual exam. So once the speculum is removed, your provider will place one hand inside the vagina and one on top of your abdomen. Your provider will then uh, press their hands together and feel your uterus, your ovaries, and your pelvic area for any masses. Um, and then that will be the end of the exam. The entire pelvic exam takes about two minutes. Um, communication is an essential part of the exam. Your provider should be talking you through the exam and explaining everything that's going on. And you should also remember that you are in control of the exam and of your body. So if there's anything we can do to help make the exam more comfortable, you should let um, your provider know. So that was a basic overview of the pelvic exam. Um, please feel free to comment below if you have any questions, but otherwise, thank you for listening and looking forward to meeting you for your first pap scan.